f of x is 3 divided by x minus 1. We want to find the difference quotient. So for this one, what we want to do is we need to first find again f of x plus h. So f of x plus h is equal to 3 over, we're going to replace the x with x plus h. So I have x plus h minus 1. And then now I'm going to put this into the difference quotient formula. So if I put that in there, I get 3 over x plus h minus 1. And then I have minus f of x, that's the original one that's given here, 3 over x minus 1. And then I have h on the bottom. So now what I need to do is, I have, since I have a fraction over a fraction, I want to get common denominators with this. So I'm, I'm going to take this one, I'm going to multiply this one by where it's missing. The common denominator is going to be x minus 1 times x plus h minus 1. This one already has the x plus h minus 1, but I need to multiply this one by x minus 1 over x minus 1. Over here, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x plus h minus 1 over x plus h minus 1. So now I have each of those. So now I need to do some simplifying. I need to write it as one denominator, x minus 1 times x plus h minus 1. I have that all on the bottom there. Now, when I, when I get this, I'm going to multiply across the top for each of those. 3x minus 3 I get. Now, this one is really negative 3 times all this here. So I get negative 3x minus 3h. And then negative 3 and negative 1, multiply those, and you get plus 3. I still have an h on the bottom. Now, I can do some cancellation here. I can do 3x and negative 3x. That cancels negative 3 and 3, that's going to cancel. And so I'm left with, when I rewrite it down here, negative 3h over x minus 1, x plus h minus 1 here. Now I have this all over h over 1. So when you take two fractions, the rule of, of that is you take the top fraction exactly the way it is and you're going to multiply it by the reciprocal of the bottom one. So this is negative 3h over x minus 1 and x plus h minus 1. I'm going to multiply this by the reciprocal, which means that I'm going to multiply that by 1 over h. So again, that's the, that's the procedure for dividing two fractions. Take the top fraction, multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom one. What happens is the, the two h's are going to cancel here, and so your final answer is negative 3 over x minus 1, x plus h minus 1, and that would be as far as you can go with your answer. I can't cancel that out or do any more with that one, so this would be your final answer.